Hey, Isaac Svensson, and Seven Sun Media. Want to talk a bit about behind the scenes for this episode of Where's Where. We're talking about the Wrigley. If you're not that interested and you just want to see the episode itself, go ahead and jump ahead and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. For those of you who are interested about how we made this, this was a cool episode. Ben and I, when we go in to film a, a neighborhood, Ben's got a really great understanding of what a, a, the neighborhoods of Long Beach are like because it's real estate and because he grew up here. And I bring a cool perspective because I'm not from Long Beach originally. And I get to kind of see <clears throat> with a tiny bit of a critical eye and as a person who um, bought a house not too long ago, kind of what that process was like from the buyer side of things. So for the Wrigley, it was fun to film because it's got all these really interesting visual elements. Along the west side of the neighborhood is that bluff elevated almost above all the houses, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet up there, um, which had some cool visual things coming in. A couple of the shots you'll notice, we even waited for various people to be going up the stairs and across so that we could kind of get that sense of what it's like on a busy day. Um, there's a shot of a guy going by on a bike when we're up on top of the bluff. And that's another fun one where I said to Ben like, hey, let's kind of wait for the right timing so that as you talk about the bike path, we've got a person going through on the bike path. When we film these episodes, we kind of go out of our way to make sure that the stuff that we talk about is supplemented by the craft itself. A cool thing to note too is in this episode, Ben gave us a shout out, thank you Ben, for the trademark brewing Long Beach local business episode that we made. If you haven't seen that video, it's one of my favorite from our Long Beach local business series. Uh, we really love to uh, talk about the businesses in town who are going out of their way to help um, make a difference. And Trademark is one of those uh, companies, Trademark Brewing. Not to mention their beer is spectacular. Honestly, one of my favorite breweries ever. And it happens to be here in Long Beach. So that's a huge win for this neighborhood. Enjoy the Where's Where. And if you're wondering where is where, we'll tell you where's where. So roll the where's where. Welcome to the next installment of Where's Where. I'm Ben Fisher, and today we're in Wrigley. In Wrigley, no one really says like Wrigley neighborhood, it's just called Wrigley. So in Wrigley, homes start around 800 square feet for something around 500,000. And they can go up to about 24, 2,500 square feet for about $800,000. So one of the pros is that right behind Wrigley is this bike path on the riverbed. You can ride your bike all the way down to the coastline from here. You just walk your bike up the stairs and cruise down. This is probably one of the last neighborhoods in Long Beach you can get your first home or a starter home or something small to work on for $500 to $600,000 and be extremely proud of it. Super important. Secondly, without being a historic neighborhood, there's a lot of charm here, a lot of character, a lot of homes that were built in the 20s, 30s, and 40s that you can save, restore, and revitalize. What's really cool about this neighborhood is you have the 405 on one side, the 710 right behind you, and downtown right there. Commuting and accessibility is extremely easy. So for the cons. Uh, one thing that we always tell our clients is, if there's a neighborhood you have some questions about, spend some time there at night in your car with your windows down for about an hour and feel it out for yourself. Wrigley in itself is a really cool little pocket, but some of the outer areas can be a bit dicey. Something else to keep in mind too is schools. You'd really want to do your research and make sure that you find schools that are suitable for you. Another thing that really has to be mentioned is, even though that bike path behind Wrigley is very commutable, it does bring a lot of transient traffic to the neighborhood and people do live in that riverbed, something you definitely need to know about. Things you'd only know if you lived in Wrigley. First off, on Daisy Street during the holidays, the whole center divider becomes Christmas decorations. And that block, sponsored by the Wrigley Corporation, has a contest for the best holiday decorations. You could drive the whole thing. It's definitely worth checking out. Secondly, we're right down the street from the coast and the port. So the ocean breeze is actually nice in this neighborhood. It does come through here and cools it down. And thirdly, Trademark Brewing is definitely something worth checking out. 
you want to see a little video about that, check out Seven Sun Media's take with Trademark Brewing. All right, so bottom line, Wrigley is a great starter home neighborhood for, I mean, young families, young couples looking to plant themselves down, have some character, some commutability, and still have an ocean breeze, all for under 700 grand, it's hard to find. Thanks for checking out the Where's Where episode on the Wrigley. If you like these videos and if you want to make something like it for yourself, hit us up. We're here for you and you can come up with your own series. It won't be Where's Where, but the well is deep. We've got lots of ideas and we're going to help you find your voice. Um, I'm going to kill some time here while we do the uh, video on this side and the video on that side. You know, reminder that down here is the subscribe button. It's a good button to push. You should try it. See what happens. Or not, you know. Also, if you hate the video, hit the dislike button. Um, and if you love the video, hit the like button. And uh, you know, if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave it. Is it 20 seconds? We're good. 